Hi there. I'm Lady Pearl and this is episode three of Electric Sheep. And uh, I am taping from my very own yarn room. I haven't posted in a while because I've been very busy buying a new house and uh, moving into it and unpacking and unpacking and unpacking and unpacking. <clears throat> and right now I have a little bit of a cold, but it has not stopped me from getting my yarn room up and together. So all this beautiful yarn out on display and it's away from cats, which is really nice because I have three. So um, having my own space that I can actually have all of my yarn and my roving and my spinning wheel out in the open without worrying about little paws and little teeth getting at all of it. It's been very nice. So um, <clears throat> today I want to go over and talk about um, my current projects. Uh, I finished everything from episode two because it was a while ago. Um, and my nieces really loved uh, the Phelan Finn uh, fox and wolf hat and cowl. Um, they were super cute. And I should be getting pictures of those soon, which I'll probably post on my Facebook account. But um, my Lady Pearl Facebook account, if you want to like me on Facebook, it is Lady, Lady Pearl Designs. And, um, and they got those for Christmas, which has recently passed. Uh, right now, I am really just doing a project to waste time, but I'm doing two socks. They look very different, but it is from this, um, I believe they're called Z-Balls. Um, it's a German company, and they all kind of look like this. They are sold in the ball instead of in a skein, and they change colors as you knit. I'm doing two socks at a time. And they're very different, as you can see, but hopefully this pattern and this pattern will repeat as I go up. I'm already past the heel. So they're looking really neat. They're very different. But I, I did this um, two at a time on double or circular needles um, so that I, in case I run out, I only have a little bit of yarn left. In case I run out, I can just stop. They might be ankle length socks. They might be mid calf socks. I don't know how long they're going to last, but that's kind of my mindless project. It's just stock and net stitch, nothing fancy, no lace, no cables. It's pretty unusual for me to be doing something so simple, but it's Christmas. I wanted something I could bring around the holidays and not worry about carrying a pattern. And one day I will talk about the construction of a sock on a video because I do love socks and I love sock knitting, but for me, absolute easiest project I could have is a simple toe up, you know, starting at the toe, working to the heel, and then going up sock and doing them two at a time. It seems complicated, but it's actually it's much easier because then you don't have the half project where you're doing something and then you get half of a project done, you get one sock of two done, and you don't want to finish it. I hate that. So doing two at a time is really ideal for me. And then today I want to talk about spinning, applying uh, yarn. I did the um, gold Rumpelstiltskin yarn up in my last episode. I blended it and I started spinning it on a drop spindle. I moved from a drop spindle to a wheel and I finished spinning it. And I'm going to show you how to apply it today. And then... Um, I also, during the time in between episode two and three, I had spent a lot of time making a lot of yarn for the Wool and Cotton Company here in Milwaukee, and I'm wholesaling with them, so if you want to see Lady Pearl Designs yarn and you want to buy it and you live here in Milwaukee, um, you can go through them. I gave them over 40 skeins of yarn and a few mood, uh, mood sock yarn kits, which is you knit with the mood um, that the color of yarn represents, which is a fun idea. And it comes with four skeins of yarn. So you can knit one pair of socks, and the way that I do mine are geeky inspired. So um, if you're happy, you can knit with the certain color that's happy. And if you're sad, you can knit with the certain color that's sad. And they're based on characters. And I've done Doctor Who, Disney, um, Disney princess themed, which was sparkly, which was fun. 
uh, Firefly, and I've done Avengers now, which has been fun. Um, and do, 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 do. Yeah, let's get on with the tutorial on how to apply hair. Hi there. So I'm going to show you how I ply yarn today. This is the Spun Up Rumpelstiltskin Shimmery Glittering Gold Yarn. And um, I have spun this up on my wheel right here. And now I am starting to ply it. And that is what the plied um, yarn looks like. And the way you do that on a spinning wheel is by holding both of them and uh, spinning in the opposite direction. Um, so I spun both of these with my wheel going counterclockwise. So I then go clockwise to ply them together. So you hold one yarn in each hand and you can do this with a drop spindle just as easily though not nearly as fast and I'm literally just letting the two yarns catch each other and they kind of spin themselves up it's actually a lot easier even than spinning yarn it's literally just holding the two together and I have a nice little yarn bowl here to hold my yarn because I am using a center pull ball in which I am using one side uh, one of the pieces of yarn is from the center pull and one is from the side of the ball so I'm using both ends of the yarn at the same time and every so often moving my yarn on the spindle there so that it doesn't bulk up in one area. And just letting it spin together. So this is all of the yarn that I just took off the Nitty Knotty. This is what the, my Nitty Knotty looks like. You wrap it around the Nitty Knotty and then when you take it off, you can count um, the actual, like, you can count how many times it has been wrapped around. And um, doing some math, I found out this was 250 yards total. But when you take it off before you set the skein, it is kind of kinked up so I'm going to go put it in very warm water and then you kind of snap it really tight from hand to hand and then really cold water and um, that kind of sets the skein um, you don't want to agitate it add soap or anything like that you don't you don't want to try to felt it in any way it's just hot water cold water and a big snap and hanging it in my shower with a couple hangers hooked onto the bottom and uh, I usually put like a a weight of some kind my favorite thing to do because it's easy is I just put uh, two or three hangers and then on the bottom of the hanger I put a um, little thing of a squirt bottle filled with water and that's just enough weight to actually kind of stretch it out and make it straight so I will do that and then I will show you what Hey I there. So this is the beautiful skein of yarn, all dry, all straight. And the way to make it into um, wrap it into a skein is you actually hold it one finger on each end of the loop and then twist it. And you know, twist in opposite directions or just twist with one hand. And the way that I usually do it is I just kind of put it under my neck, fold it in half and it folds on it wraps around itself. 
I kind of straighten it to make it look pretty. And then with fingers in each of the ends, you just pull one through. So I've made a beautiful skein of yarn and uh, yeah, it is all finished. It's ready to either be uh, wound into a center pull ball with a ball winder and knit up or sold. I haven't decided which I want to do yet. I really, really love it and I love that it's sparkly, but I think I could sell it if I wanted to, so I'm debating. So this is going to go in my big stack of yarn back there. And um, it's ready to be ready to be used, knit up immediately. Um, I am also doing a few new things in my store. Uh, it is the new year. It is now 2015 as of today. And so I, my new year's resolution, as it has been for the past three years, is to make Lady Pearl designs even bigger and better. So one thing that I'm introducing, I have already put on my Etsy store, um, are lotion bars. This is a little Dalek. He's so cute. And it is made of solid lotion. Um, it is shea butter, coconut oil, and beeswax. And um, they're really fun to make and I really like them. And then I've also started doing, and this one I've actually started using, so this is mine, Serenity Ships for Firefly. And they, um, you just, with your own body heat, they start melting a little bit. And, um, and then it's really nice because it's unscented. I'm kind of scent sensitive. And uh, it just gives you enough moisture in your hands that it, it makes knitting a lot less uncomfortable in the winter. So I'm going to start selling those on my Etsy page. I'm going to have Daleks, Serenity Ships, and Tardises to begin with. Little Tardises. And I'm looking into more fun molds to do. As the year progresses, I'll maybe find some more geeky molds. Um, I've seen some D20 dice. Um, I've seen some Star Wars things out there, little... Han Solo molds. Um, most of them are for candy or ice or chocolate, but um, they're perfect for lotion bars. So um, that is going to be a real fun development. I'm also really excited about making more mood sock yarn kits and knitting up a few socks of my own so that I can show what they're going to end up looking like, as well as more patterns and patterns that will correspond to certain yarns that I'm selling in my store. So the Doomsday yarn pattern combo has sold pretty well, so I'm going to start doing more Doomsday yarn to sell with the pattern as a kit. And then I also have um, a pair of socks that are inspired by John Watson's jumper in the first episode of Sherlock. And that will be um, a pattern kit for sale soon. And then I'm also going to probably do something to celebrate the new Avengers movie, because I, look, I love, really love the Avengers. So... Um, so maybe something, I love gloves, I love socks, I love hats. I'm not really sure what I want to do with the Avengers because there's so many different people and there's so many different characters and so many personalities that I really love. It's hard to choose. And really there's not one thing that I can do that's going to symbolize all of them except for maybe the A. <laughs> but I don't really like letters necessarily. So I'm going to think about it, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's probably going to be coming into the future. I've also been thinking about making my own stitch markers, but it's a little complex. So, so I will think about that when I, when I get to it, I'll hopefully be, um, experimenting with different kinds of things that I can do for stitch markers. But yeah, um, Please like or subscribe if you like the episode, like if you want to keep up to date with me in 2015 subscribe and uh hopefully in my next episode i'm going to go because i have now made the yarn let's start doing something with it i think i'm going to do a yarn 101 course for episode four so uh stay tuned and i'll probably be doing and releasing that very shortly bye